Okay. Hello, Beaks. I'm Alan Woods from Wood to Be Company. And last year we built this building over here after we decided to replace our trailer in which we do honey in. All right, so a couple of months ago we started uh, pulling everything out of this trailer. We eventually got rid of the trailer and I made a video on that uh, build. So now this video is going to show you how we uh, built this honey house behind us. Right, and then I'm going to take you in and show you exactly how it works so before we get started I'm gonna to need to go up and grab some honey frames so stay tuned okay beast before we can uh, show you how our honey house work we're gonna to have to get some honey so we're actually taking uh, some honey out of this uh, super box right here that has nine frame spacers right what the nine frame spacers do it allow more space between each frame so that the honey is a little thicker right you can see how it looks let's put this honey up and uh, get spinning all right so now that we have our honey what I want to do is, I want to show you how we built this first, and then we're going to get this honey inside. I'm going to show you how to process it.
now that I showed you how we built this thing, come in, let me show you what it looks like now. So, when you come in, you can see our sink that we put in, right? and it's uh, sticky, so we really need uh, uh, to use this thing. And then we have our uh, honey processing line, which we've already been uh, working. You see we have some frames capped, and uh, we have some honey. In the clarifier tank and what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna spend some more honey we're gonna run the rest of the clarifier tank we're gonna show you how this whole system works but yeah we're gonna show you our whole system as we go through this thing All right. Stand by as I put on my gear. Okay, Beats, as I said, we're gonna spit honey in this uh, honey house we just finished. So, let's get to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is come in here and we're gonna take some frames out. These are the frames that I got earlier today, but I kind of waited till the evening so it's not so hot in here because it can uh, get quite hot in here. So what I'm going to do now is I put this inside of our chain uncapper. I'm going to put it down. As you can see, it does a pretty good job at uncapping. Sitting inside of the extractor. Go to our next ring. I will tell you, one of the reasons why this thing works so well with these frames is because we use a non-frame spacer uh, in our uh, supers. And what that allows us to do is allow us to have more space uh, for the bees to make honey. So it's normally water, so it's able to cut nicely. So another consideration that you might have, but every now and then you have a frame it may not be totally drawn out, so you'll have to scratch it. Like this one. So, see the bees kind of make this wonky. That's okay though. That's what you're handy dandy scratchers for. Now what I want you to see though is as I scrape all of this off it's falling down into this container. Okay and I put this one in and now it is ready to go. All right? So we started slow and it's gonna shake a little, right? Okay, Beats, we're having a problem with the camera. It's so hot in here that the, the camera's getting hot and shut down. So what I'm gonna do is just shut the camera down and uh, we're gonna finish spinning and then we're gonna let the honey drain into, into our clarifier. Uh, because the temperature has to be at least 85 degrees in order for the clarifier to work. So we're going to have to wait for that to happen. But since my camera keeps overheating, we're going to shut down and as soon as we're ready, we'll turn it back on. Okay, Beach, so at this time, I'm done dealing with the honey. The only thing I have to do now is let the honey drain inside of the clarifier tank. And to clarify what I said earlier, the temperature has to be at least 85 degrees in the clarifier tank in order to go through the pump. 
and then it's going to go up into the filter and from the filter we get to choose if we're going to put it in the five gallon bucket or if it's going to go into one of our bottling tanks right also i wanted to show you this uh so i'm not sure how long my camera is going to last this is actually the opportunity now for you to go through frames right as you can see some of these frames are quite used right and uh they're older frames so this is my year that I'm going to get rid of just about every one of these frames with the exception of I think I have about maybe 10 that were in a newer set that I put in this year. But I rotate all my frames out at the exact same time so that there is no discussion when I, when I put them in the service and when I didn't. So I put these in this year but I'm also going to, they're going to actually do an extra year with the other ones because I'm not going to take these out of service until the next new ones come out. The next thing I wanted to show you also is the cappings from the chain uncapper. Right? What I do with this, they have a capping spinner and all of that, but I just pour it into this filter and it'll sit here in the heat and it'll just drain out and then it'll go underneath and it'll drop into uh, this tank down here, into the, I'm sorry, into that bucket down there. So, that's that. So again, I want you to look in here, right? And I'm gonna show you what the clarifier does. As the clarifier heats up, it's gonna allow all of the impurities to float to the top, right? And the clarifier has baffles in it. Right. You see all the baffles. The impurities won't come through the baffles because they'll get stuck on the screen and the honey will go underneath. So as soon as there is enough honey, actually there's enough honey right now to go through here. You can see it's inside of uh, the pump. The problem is, like I said, that green light has to go off for me to know that this uh, honey is at least 85 degrees. So once that light goes off, then we'll go ahead on and turn this on and we'll watch it go up through the, the, tech, the filter. And then we're gonna probably put this honey in the far bottling tank over there. All right, I'm gonna shut the camera down because it's probably gonna overheat again because it's really hot in here. When we get started, we'll do it again. All right, until then. Now. So, as you can see, after we extract the honey into the tank, the tank goes through the pump, it goes up through the filter, and then it's going into this uh, tank right here. If we really wanted to, we can switch these levels and allow it to come down here. All right, Beaks, this is our honey house. Thank you for joining us. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe like this video. Till next time, be blessed.